our entire product innovation roadmap at Hulu is based around this fundamental idea of viewer first advertising, which is the belief that advertising should be consistent, it should be relevant, and it should be integrated. The belief is that if you deliver a better ad experience for the viewer, they will be more receptive to receiving brand messaging and have a better overall experience with both the content and the ads. And so that is fundamental to how we're developing our product roadmap at Hulu. So tell us about uh, this, the binge uh, experience and what you guys are doing there and why. Yeah. So as, as part of our viewer first advertising approach, we're really focused on a number of new formats that are less intrusive to the overall storytelling journey that a viewer is having on Hulu. With Binge, you know, almost 25% of all the content that gets viewed on Hulu gets viewed in some sort of binge mode, meaning a viewer is sitting there and watching three or more episodes at a given time. And so there's a tre tremendous opportunity to help brands align their messaging with the experience that the viewer is having. And so with our new Binge product, which we're very excited about, um, it will give the opportunity for a brand to align their message either through a next, you know, next episode commercial free message or some sort of offering that rewards the viewer for this natural experience, this natural behavior that's now happening in streaming television. What's the uh, rollout plan for that? Yeah, so the binge unit will be going into beta in Q3 of this year and should be fully available by the end of the year. I wanted to ask you about frequency caps, and there's a lot of, you know, people get annoyed by seeing the same. What are you doing around sort of, you know, frequency? Yeah. Well, Hulu really has always led the market with reduced ad loads. In fact, we have uh, the lightest ad load in television today. Um, and we're also taking the lead in making uh, industry changing approaches to frequency, which has been an industry wide problem. In addition to the daily frequency cap, I'm sorry, the hourly frequency cap that you've always had on Hulu, which is two ads per 60 minutes, we're now instituting a daily frequency cap at four ads per day. And we know a number of our viewers are watching several hours of TV in a given day, and so adding this frequency management capability allows us to deliver a better overall experience for the viewer and a better ROI for the brand. Great. and. Um how about the ad units, creativity, size of them? I know you guys have been an innovative and interactive. What about the working with agencies and in, in, in evolving the medium itself of advertising? Well, you know, we think we have a tremendous opportunity at Hulu to really transform TV advertising, to do a better job of helping brands align the great storytelling that they have around their brand with the storytelling that's happening in content. And so at Hulu, we're focused on four key format areas that we think really will advance that transformation. The first is what we call transactional. We believe that streaming television is a full funnel medium, and so giving the brand an opportunity to engage and interact with the viewer and allow the viewer to transact with advertising, but to do so while minimizing the, the, the intrusion to the storytelling journey is what the transactional ad format is all about. So with a single click of the button on your remote, you can have a second screen experience with the advertiser and get additional information or transact itself while minimizing the interruption to the storytelling. The second format we're focused on is choice-based. Building on the success that we've had with the branded entertainment selector, giving a viewer an opportunity to choose the type of advertising or the journey they're taking with an advertiser is where that format is focused. The third format is what we call integrated storytelling, which is really to immerse the brand and the content together. It could be as advanced as product placement inside of the content, um, or it could be something like being al allowing the brand to be part of the overall content journey that's happening while the viewer is watching. And the last one is what we call situational. It's the idea that there are natural behaviors that are happening in streaming television today um, that represent a tremendous opportunity for the brand to really align their message with the behavior that's happening. And so Binge that we just talked about is a great example of that. Pausing, uh, the pause ad which we announced earlier this year, is another example of that where there's a natural break in the behavior, a natural break in the storytelling journey, and that's a great opportunity to introduce a brand message on behalf of advertisers.